Hey y'all, Chateau Red, the grownest teenager in the building. And right now I'm about to do a reaction on Dad's fight for custody of at-risk children in New York City. Dads have been stepping up lately. Yeah, I've noticed that. Everyone wants to be involved in their kids' lives and stuff. You see more and more single dads than ever before. So... And dad's just, you know, trying to do their do they part. And that, that's great. I like it. Let's hear it, people. Fathers are trying to fight for their babies. They're trying to step up for their kids. I was there the day they were born. Nathaniel Booker has two little girls under age two and was also helping to raise the older daughters of his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> but his family is in turmoil. First, he says, the Administration for Children's Services, ACS, removed the two older girls from the maternal home after a complaint at school. Then Booker says the girl's mother notified him that his 18-month-old daughter had an injury. She says my daughter had moved her arm, she'd been injured, and she didn't take her to the hospital because she had an open ACS case. Booker's grandmother drove with him from Baltimore to New York. Her left arm was plastered to her side. She wouldn't move it. All four children were briefly sent to live with the mother's aunt in Brooklyn, who advocated that Nathaniel Booker get custody. I've seen him interact with those girls, and I feel that he is the better parent. But Booker's biological children, the babies, were ultimately sent to live with the mother's stepmom in Queens. All I want is to be their father. Booker's case is not unusual. Oh, As of September 30th this year, more than 4,300 fathers had filed custody petitions with family court. In 25% of the cases, children did go to live with their dads, mm. but with disturbing frequency, we are hearing about fathers who raised red flags about maternal households before a tragedy. We can't right. ignore the elephant in the room. All too often, the fathers who are denied uh, custody of their children by ACS um, are fathers of color. This is J.C. Banks. Attorney Derek Sells recently filed a lawsuit against ACS on behalf of Jamal Eubanks, whose four-year-old son died in the care of the child's mother and her boyfriend, who was charged with murder. An autopsy showed that he had skull fractures, that he had rib fractures. Sells said the father was not told of previous abuse complaints, even as he visited his two sons weekly. They did not tell Jamal. Back in July 2021, PIX11 News told the story of seven-year-old Julicia Batiste, a Brooklyn girl who ended up dead after an extended visit with her mother in the Bronx during the pandemic. I can't even sleep. She was my best friend. <laughs> Nearly a year later, Julicia's mother and half-brother were charged with horrific child abuse that led to her murder. I'm happy to boss you. Your business. Your business. Nathaniel Booker says he was alarmed by the tragedy in Coney Island over the summer mm. when three children were allegedly drowned by their mother. Mm. The older boy's father said he tried to get custody. Booker mm. said he's not done fighting for his girls. I'm their father. Why is my voice not being heard? And Nathaniel Booker will return to family court next week in Brooklyn. For now, he says the two babies remain with the stepmother of the biological mom in Far Rockaway, Queens. The two older girls are with the mother's aunt in Brooklyn. Why? Before you do Why do they love to separate the families, yo? Why do they love to separate the families? I don't understand that. If that man want his kids... Those is his kids. Give him his kids. I don't get it. I don't get it. Every every woman um is not does not have that maternal thing in them. You know, just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you have that maternal instinct. You know, some people don't know how to be mothers and don't want to learn they don't care they just like ew this is a bother to me <laughs> that's how they look at their kids like you're an inconvenience you're a bother i don't want to be doing this and either they get mad at the kids they abuse the kids for that or they neglect them or whatever 
or they just not good mothers. You know what I mean? Even if they don't abuse them, they don't do motherly shit. It's little simple things, you know? Encourage your kids. Spend time with your kids. But um, I think like I know that the um the court system does favor the woman most of the time. You know, they lean more to letting the kids stay with the mother and all that. But I mean, if Shorty had it, already had an ACS case, like. And he was fighting for his kid. Just give him his kids. I don't understand. It's just stupid. But, um, you know, hopefully they work it out. You know, not just him, but like, I'm sure it's a lot of situations like that. Men who want to take care of their kids and know that the mother is unfit. Even if she, even if it's shit like she out partying every weekend and leave the kids in the house by themselves. Like, shit like that. People be doing is not right. But, um, you know, all they could do is pray. That's it. I don't know what else to say. I just hope that they do something about that. Like, let them take heed. Listen to these fathers. It's if they telling you shit that the mother is doing. But, well, that's it, people. That's all I got to say about that, lady, y'all.